Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the stop switch on your engine, first make sure the engine has cooled. Next, you should remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. We recommend performing this procedure with little or no fuel in the tank. Release the starter rope from the guide and note the orientation of the recoil starter. Now use a 10 mm socket to unthread the mounting nuts securing the starter. Remove the starter and lift off the engine shroud and fuel tank. Next, detach the ignition coil wire. Now use the 10 mm socket to unthread the ignition coil mounting bolt. and an adjustable wrench to unthread the mounting post. Remove the coil. Depress the bail arm to release the brake and secure the arm. Use a strap wrench to secure the flywheel and a 19 mm socket to unthread the flywheel mounting nut. With the nut removed, lift off the cooling fan. You can now use a flywheel puller to help detach the flywheel. The flywheel has markings to indicate where the puller arm should be positioned. We recommend using a business card to protect the magnet. Once the flywheel has been removed, release the bail arm. Now disconnect the engine stop switch wire. Use a 7 mm socket or nut driver to unthread the mounting bolt and remove the old switch. Install the new engine stop switch by positioning it on the engine block. Secure it with the mounting bolt. Connect the wire. Depress the bail arm and secure it. Confirm that the flywheel key is intact in the crankshaft, then realign the flywheel. Reposition the cooling fan and insert the washer. Thread the flywheel mounting nut and tighten. Use a torque wrench to torque the nut to 55 foot-pounds. Reposition the ignition coil on the engine, then thread the mounting bolt and post loosely. Pull the coil back and tighten the bolt and post. Now rotate the flywheel so the magnet aligns with the coil and insert a business card between the coil and the flywheel. Loosen the bolt and post to align the coil the correct distance from the flywheel. Retighten the bolt and post, then remove the card. Connect the ignition coil wire. Reposition the engine shroud and fuel tank. Properly realign the starter, then thread and tighten the mounting nuts to secure.
Extend the starter rope. Secure the rope in the guide. And release the bail arm. With the repair completed, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug. Refill the fuel tank and your engine should be ready for use.